Hi everyone, how's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. I apologize for the inconvenience, but I'm experiencing issues with my usual narrator for the third time and have to use a substitute. I hope you can bear with me. Anyway, it's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Jan Meeker's Vogelvlucht is a panoramic bird's eye view of the Dutch city of Utrecht, created in 1652. It is a stunning example of a Vogelvlucht or bird's eye view painting, a popular genre in the 17th century Netherlands. The painting is an impressive 1.5 meters wide by 1 meter tall, and depicts the city of Utrecht from a high vantage point, looking down at an angle. The viewer is able to see the city's layout and architecture in great detail including its winding canals, bridges, and the many churches and other buildings that make up the cityscape. One of the most notable features of the painting is its high level of accuracy and detail. Meeker was known for his meticulous attention to detail, and this painting is no exception. Every building, street, and canal in the city is depicted with remarkable accuracy, making it an important historical document as well as a work of art. Meeker also employs several artistic techniques to add interest and depth to the painting. He uses aerial perspective to show the city fading into the distance, with buildings becoming smaller and less distinct as they recede from the foreground. He also uses light and shadow to create a sense of depth and dimensionality, with some areas of the painting appearing to be bathed in sunlight, while others are in shadow. In addition to its artistic and historical significance, Vogelvlucht, is also notable for the insight it provides into 17th century Dutch urban life. The painting shows Utrecht as a bustling city, with people going about their daily lives, boats moving up and down the canals, and carts and wagons transporting goods through the streets. It provides a glimpse into the commercial and social activities that characterized the city at the time. Overall, Jan Meeker's Vogelvlucht is an impressive work of art and an important historical document. Its combination of accuracy, detail, and artistic skill make it a valuable contribution to both the art and history of the Netherlands in the 17th century. According to mainstream history, the first hot air balloon was invented on June 4, 1783, by the Montgolfier brothers, Joseph and Etienne, in Annonay, France. The simple question is, where did Meeker get such detailed visual information to put into his painting in 1652? Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end, to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. The Temple of Karnak is an ancient complex of temples located in the city of Luxor, Egypt, and is one of the largest religious complexes in the world. At the heart of this temple complex is the Sacred Lake, which is a prominent feature and has significant religious and spiritual significance. The lake was constructed under the orders of King Thutmose III, who was a prominent pharaoh of the 18th dynasty of ancient Egypt. The size of the lake is impressive, measuring 80 meters in length and 40 meters in width. The construction of this lake is a testament to the engineering skills of the ancient Egyptians, who were able to create such a large and durable structure that has remained functional for over 3,000 years. The sacred lake of the Temple of Karnak is considered to be an important spiritual site by many people. It is believed to have been used for ritualistic purification ceremonies by the priests of the temple. The lake was also a place for worshippers to gather and offer their prayers to the gods and goddesses of ancient Egypt. What is remarkable about the lake is that it has never dried up in all the years it has existed. The water level of the lake has remained constant regardless of the weather conditions in the area. This is a testament to the engineering genius of the ancient designer who designed the lake. 
It is said that the engineers who designed the lake understood the natural flow of water in the area and were able to create a structure that could withstand the test of time. What do you think? The Gates of Hell, also known as the Darvaza Gas Crater or the Door to Hell, is a unique and eerie geological feature located in the Karakum Desert of Turkmenistan. This natural wonder, measuring approximately 70 meters in diameter and 30 meters deep, has been burning continuously for more than half a century. The origin of the Gates of Hell dates back to 1971, when a team of Soviet geologists was drilling for oil in the area. During their drilling, the team accidentally tapped into a natural gas pocket that caused the ground beneath them to collapse. In order to prevent the dangerous gas from escaping into the atmosphere, the geologists set the hole on fire, expecting the flames to go out in a few days. However, more than 50 years later, the fire still burns brightly, casting an eerie red glow over the desert landscape. The heat from the flames is so intense that the surrounding air temperature can reach up to 1000 degrees Fahrenheit, making it impossible for any life to exist nearby. However, this is undeniable clear evidence that natural resources, whatever their form, are unlimited. So much effort is put into shilling against the old world understanding of the universe. For every hole in their model, they come up with a backup almost immediately. And many of these explanations are so far-fetched that the only reason they look credible to people is because of their shameless appeal to authority. What do you think? What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.